Okay, this is uh, working on machine integration. I've got a TR5100 from Marco that is a ferropter and a, the console that takes in lensometer readings and autorefractor readings. First thing you need to do is go to Crystal's website and down here on support you'll see machine integration and you want to find the the equipment that you have that you're trying to integrate. You download this help documentation and this says how to assign your Marco device in the program and then there's a, a listing that I printed out. They create a an XML file with the, the different data in these positions. The Marco Connect software has to be running in the background in order for you to import the data into Crystal. You can call up Marco, their technicians logged onto the computer and set everything up for me. I put the program in my startup folder so that it would start when I turn on the computer in the morning and it just runs in the background. I set up a bunch of data on the different Marco screen and I'm going to hit print twice to send it to the computer. In order to see the data, I go to import export and I assign the RT5100 to import machine 1. If you click display all import values then it shows you all the fields and the values that are in there. When I sent the data over I looked at the numbers to confirm that I had the proper numbers when I was inputting the code for the buttons. Okay, So now I'm in uh, my medical records and I'm on the prelim page, I've got several buttons that are tied to the machine. I've got a lens meter 1 reading, lens meter 2 reading, spectral lens 3 reading, I've got um, the auto refractor reading, and auto keratometer. So I'm going to do the auto refractor reading first. And to find out what button number this is, I'm going to hit on reorder, and that shows you the, the numbers for the buttons. So it's, this is field ID number 459 is the one that I want to do. I'm going to switch this back so I can see what I want. And then I want to highlight these fields so that the um, field ID numbers show up. Sometimes the labels will get in the way. Okay, so I want to go to 459. So click on here and go 459. And that takes me to that button. And I want to add a command. And I've got this uh, machine is set up to machine number one. So I want to take 470, that's the OD sphere from the autorefractor. So I want to assign field 470 to the machine value. The OD sphere from the autorefractor is 40. So I do machine 1, colon, and 40. And that's telling it to get uh, the value for item 40 and plug it into field 470. Okay, so I want to save that. Then I just keep doing this for all the spots. I do 471 is OS sphere, which is 47. Oops. Four seventy-two is OS cylinder, which is forty-one. Forty-three seventy-three is forty. Eight. I think I said the other before. This is the OS cylinder. Four seventy four is the axis forty two, and one more four seventy five is OS axis, which is forty nine. Okay, so I've got four seventy. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. That equates to the sphere, cylinder, and axis. And then I can uh, save this and I can test it later on. Now I'm going to make a button that pulls up the data from the lens meter, the auto refractor, and the auto keratometer. I'm just going to call it a lens meter A R A K button. Get lens meter A R K. Okay. I'm going to make this a button and what it's going to do is call up these other two buttons or other buttons. Let's see. I want to do K's, the AR, and lens meter 1. So let's see what numbers those are. Lens meter 1 is 284. So 
So I want it to run the button command. Oops. Um, button command for field 284. Okay, that's the uh, lens meter. Then I want to run the button command for 459. 459. Run the button command. And then I want to run the button command for button 612. Run the button command. That's the AK reading. So you got 284, 459, and 612. So I've got this button, and I want to put it on my prelim tab. I'll just put it here for now. And so what that should do is if I've got a uh, patient gets the lens meter and the AR, AK, put it in the console and push that button, and it'll fill in those that data in there for me. Okay, let's go to the prelims page. And I've got a button here for Spectacle 1, the lens meter, so I can hit that. These are all going to have the same data. Spectacle 2, if I had a different card, I could, it would pull up that data. If I hit it here, it puts it, the lens meter data into this button. Okay. And if I hit um, AR button, it pulls over the AR data. And when I put the K button, it pulls over the K data. And now I've cleared out all the fields again, and if I hit this button here, I program that to run the other three buttons. So it's putting in the AR, the AK, and the lens meter data.